Hello, I'm Roya and this is iPod and we're going to tell you all about my favorite plays. Um, iPod does not have any favorite plays because she's a cat and she probably hasn't seen that many plays or read any, but I read plays like they're books and one of my favorites is um, Rosencrantz and Guildenstern are Dead by Tom Stoppard. Uh, kitty cat. Um, that play is about um, two minor characters from Hamlet and um, the whole Hamlet play from their perspective. And it's really, really funny. There's all kinds of funny dialogue in it. Um, and also there's a monologue that starts off with, Do you ever think of yourself as actually dead, lying in a box with a lid on it? Nor do I really. Silly to be depressed by it. And it's just fucking brilliant. Um, there's a movie version of it um, with Gary Oldman as Rosencrantz, and it's really funny. My sister actually thought I was a huge dork for um, liking that play in that movie, but then somehow she ended up watching the movie with me one time, and then she got more hooked on it than me. Like, she loves that play. All Another of my favorite plays is called Cleveland, and it's by Mac Wellman. That is a play in one act, uh, but for a one act play, it's actually a little bit long. Basically, is about a girl named Joan who um, whose father is dead, and she doesn't really know how. First um, scene opens up with her mother trying to unclog the sink because there are bones in it. And um, a plumber comes over and fixes it, but then um, there are bones in the sink again later, and um, and it turns out that the mother is an alien, and she killed the father and put his bones in the sink, and then she killed the plumber guy and put his bones in the sink. Then Joan reveals herself to be an alien from a different planet, and then they duke it out with a toilet plunger and a feather. I directed a production of it in high school and we had a lot of fun choreographing that fight scene with a toilet plunger and a feather. It was really awesome. But it's a crazy, crazy play. Um, I think I found it in just a book of one act plays or something somewhere that you can find in any bookstore. I just don't remember what book it was. So you can pretty much just go to the bookstore, go to the, the plays section, and it will probably be in one of the books. You can just check the different books of one act plays and um, see which one has Cleveland in it. <laughs> Another of my favorite plays is the persecution and assassination of Jean-Paul Marat performed by the inmates of the Asylum of Charenton under the direction of Marquis de Sade um, by Peter Weiss, I think. It's basically about um, Marquis de Sade in um, an asylum, because he spent like most of his life in asylums practically, um, directing a play about Jean-Paul Marat getting assassinated in his bathtub. Um, it's also a musical, and um, if I can find a video of it somewhere, I'm gonna put it in the, um, I'm gonna put a link in the description below, um, because it's pretty awesome, it gets stuck in your head, all kinds of stuff. You know, when I first started high school, the school um, put on that play and I saw it, and it was really awesome. Um, and then it, and I ended up, like, because of that, going off to um, read, like, all kinds of stuff by our favorite sadistic marquee, who, by the way, was not really a marquee. I think he was, like, a count or some other title, but he just started calling himself marquee because it sounds cooler. <laughs> but that's a book you probably won't find in just any bookstore because, I don't know, I had to search long and hard to find a copy and I finally found one in like a bookstore that only had like hella old things. I don't know why. I hope you enjoyed our selection of favorite plays. Obviously I have a lot more but I didn't want to make this video too long for the people who, I don't know, just think plays are overwhelming or something. Um, See you next time.